In today's tutorial, let's create a very simple title animation inside of DaVinci Resolve 16 that is pretty much inspired by the title of an upcoming Hindi film, Happy Hardy and Here. Hey guys, I am Vikash for Skyline Motions and without any further ado, let's take a new project and get started. Alright, so click on this new project and let's call it title and click on create and we have to do some basic settings so click on this setting button and set the size of this project 1920 by 1080 let's go with 30 frame per second and set this frame rate 30 and click on save and let's import an image file that we want to use in this project so go to media pool right click on that click on import media and select your image file so i'm using this image that i have downloaded from pixabay.com and link given in the description so go to the link and download this image if you want and click on open and now drag this image on this timeline and as you can see it has a different size proportion so let's fit this image so select this image and go to inspector window and set the zoom value something around 1.2 hit enter and now it's looking perfect and close this inspector window all right and now i want to create five second long title animation so we have to set the duration of this image something around five second so right now this is five second long which is good enough for now so right click on this image and let's convert it into a compound clip so click on this new compound clip and let's call it image and click on create and now Let's remove this from the timeline and now let's create title animation inside of this fusion tab. So we have to take a new fusion composition. So go to media pool again, right click on that, click on new fusion composition and let's call it fusion comp and set it five second long frame rate 30 and click on create and drag this fusion comp on this timeline and go to very beginning and go to your fusion tab. And here we have media out. So just drag this media out to the side for now and let's import that image file. So go to media pool and drag this image compound clip on this flow window and close this media pool and drag this to the viewer and select this media in hit F2 on the keyboard to rename and let's call it image. Hit OK and select this and add a color corrector node with this and drag this color corrector to the viewer and go to this inspector window and set the saturation value zero and make it pure black and white all right and now let's take a background node so click on this background button and add a background node drag it to the viewer and let's pick a nice color so pick this a sky blue color maybe and hit f2 on the keyboard and let's call it color and hit ok place it over here and now let's take a merge node so click on this merge button and connect this yellow background point with the output of this color corrector and use this color corrector output as a background and connect this green foreground point with this color and use this color as a foreground and drag this merge one to the viewer and then right click on this flow window and go to arrange tool and check this option to grid all right so as you know it will helps you to keep this node clean and organized all right and now select this merge one and go to this inspector window and go to apply mode and change this to color burn and now it's looking something like that all right and let's increase the size of this and now let's take a text node so click on this text and drag this text to the viewer and let's type a text whatever you want to type so i'm typing resolve 16 and select your favorite font style so i'm using century gothic which is my favorite font style and of course you can choose any different font style that you want and now set the size of this text something around 0.2 hit enter and now let's take a background node so click on this background button hit f2 on the keyboard to rename and let's call it shape hit ok select the shape and add a rectangle mask with this so click on this rectangle button to add a rectangle mask place it over here drag it like that and now select this rectangle and set this rectangle according to this text all right so set this height value something around 0 0.25 hit enter and set this value 
0 0.697 hit enter and set this mask in center of this text and now select this rectangle hit f2 on the keyboard and let's call it mask hit enter and now let's take a merge node so click on this merge button and connect this yellow background point with this text one and use this text as a background and connect this green foreground point with this shape and use this shape as a foreground and drag this merge tool to the viewer and now select this merge tool and go to this inspector window and go to this operator and change this over to held out all right and now select the shape and change the color and make it pure white and it's looking something like this all right and now let's create a shadow so select this merge to hit control plus a space bar for search box and search for drop shadow and hit add button and drag this drop shadow to the viewer and let's take a merge node and let's merge this with the background so connect this yellow point with this merge one and green point with this and drag this merge three to the viewer and select this shadow and let's create a nice drop shadow and set this shadow blur zero and set this drop angle something around negative seven degree and hit enter and set this drop distance 0 0.007 and hit enter and now it's perfect but there is a problem over here so i'm going to cut this shadow over here so we have to take a rectangle mask so click on this rectangle button and drag this rectangle over here and set it like that and place it on this area and use this rectangle as a effect mask for this drop shadow so connect this blue point with this rectangle one all right and select this rectangle and click on this invert option and now it's looking perfect and now just delete this merge three and drag this to the viewer all right and now select all these node hit ctrl c to copy and paste a uh, another copy over here and drag the second drop shadow to the viewer and now select the second text and type your second title so i'm going to type da vinci and now select the second mask and set this width value 0.62 and hit enter and now let's merge these both outputs so take a merge node and and connect this yellow point with this and green point with this and drag this merge 3 to the viewer and now we have to add a transform node after this drop shadow output so select this drop shadow and add a transform node and drag this second title over here like that and select this transform and let's down the size of this so set this size value something around 0.6 and hit enter and set it like that so set this center x value 0 0.63 hit enter all right and now select this mask and just set this over here and now let's animate this text so select this transform go to the end of this animation right click on center click on animate or you can also click on this diamond button to create a keyframe and go to very beginning of this animation and drag this text over here and set this center x value 0 0.58 and hit enter all right so we have something like that and now let's animate this first title so let's add uh, another transform with this so select this drop shadow one and add a transform node after this drop shadow and select this transform two and go to the end of this animation right click on center click on animate and go to very beginning of this animation and just drag this title and set this value something around 0 0.55 and hit enter and now let's play this all right so it's looking something like this and now click on fit button and 
just drag this node over here and place it like that and now let's take a image plane 3d node and attach this merge 3 with this image plane 3d and drag this image plane 3d to the viewer and hold alt and middle mouse button to rotate this viewport in 360 and hold control and a scroll up to zoom in a scroll down to zoom out and hold middle mouse button only to move this viewport left right top and bottom all right and now let's take another image plane 3d node so click on this image plane 3d button and attach this merge one with this image plane 3d drag it to the viewer and it's looking something like this and now let's merge these both image plane 3d so we have to take a new merge 3d node so click on this merge button and add a merge 3d node and attach this image plane 3d 2 with this merge 3d and connect this image plane 3d 1 with this merge 3d and drag this merge 3d to the viewer all right and now click on this double viewer and drag this merge 3d in this viewer 1 and go to viewer 2 and right click on that go to 3d option and uncheck this grid and we have to take a new camera 3d so click on this camera button and add a camera 3d and attach this camera with this merge 3d and select this camera 3d hit f2 on the keyboard and let's call it cam hit ok and now drag this camera like that and right click on this second viewer and go to camera and change this to cam and now let's animate this camera so select this camera and go to the end of this animation go to transform and set this z translation value something around 2 and hit enter and right click on z translation click on animate or you can also click on this diamond button to create a keyframe and go to very beginning of this animation and set this z translation value something around 2.5 and hit enter and now we have a camera animation something like that and select this image plane 3d for this image and let's create a distance between text and image in g space and drag it over here maybe and go to transform and set this z translation value negative 3 and hit enter all right and now let's increase the size of this so hold control and scale it up and set this like that all right and now select this image plane 3d for this text and go to transform and and now let's increase the size of this text so set this scale value something around 1.1 and hit enter all right and now let's increase the size of this and set this text in center and go to the end of this animation and go to this rotation and set this y rotation something around 20 degree and hit enter and let's animate this y rotation so right click on this and click on animate and go to very beginning of this animation and set this y rotation something around 30 degree and hit enter and now it's looking something like that all right and now let's convert all this 3d node into 2d so select this merge 3d and add a render 3d with this so click on this renderer 3d and drag this render 3d to the viewer and now connect your media out with the main output so drag this media out over here and connect the output of this render 3d with this media out and go to your edit tab and now let's create an aspect ratio so go to timeline Go to output blanking and select 2.35 and now it's looking much more better and as you can see our text animation is ready for render so let's have a look so click on this loop button and go to very beginning of this animation and let's play this animation all right and that's all for this tutorial i hope you like it if you like it then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get notified when i will upload my new video and i will see you in next tutorial till then bye bye